Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Chelsea FC career mode. Now, this starts off here with um, an offer for, uh, from Everton for Lloris. Now, at this point, I was like, well, I have Courtois. Lloris, yep, he's a good keeper to Everton. <sighs> I'm not too sure. If they can give me 10 million for him, by all means, um, I wouldn't mind doing that. But I was still looking for uh, Jovetic because I know how Jovetic, I know how good he was. Um, but we were still waiting on Neymar's response or Barcelona's response for Neymar. So... Hopefully they accept that and um, it, it, it's all good. So I went through their team a little bit. I was just trying to put people on loan, send people on loan that I didn't wasn't going to use uh, for the upcoming season or for the rest of the season. So we was going to do a uh, just a short loan for the minute, um, and then we can continue with that for as long as we need. Uh, if they stay there, uh, like the, if the team actually play like offers for them, then I wouldn't really mind. I put Eto, no, not Eto. Uh, I can't remember who I just put on the transfer list. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. It's going too quick for me. So. But anyway, if Bar uh, Barcelona there actually do go ahead and accept that offer of Lewandowski and 2.5 million, I think it was, um, and Rodrigo as well, uh, they, they they accepted that and I sent him a contract offer. So Florentina offered 8.5 million for Devil Louise. Um, I countered with a t uh, 15 million because I didn't think they'd have 15 million. But as you can see here, they do go ahead and match it, and uh, it sucks. And also, Everton did buy Lloris for, for 10 million. So I had to kind of think about what are these different positions, uh, a possible goalkeeper, um, a possible new centre-back, because I know that Aki um, is not going to cut it for for a long, for a while, because I know he's not that good just yet until he, until he increases. But anyway, there you go. We do sign Neymar and Rodrigo. Uh, the reason why I signed both of them is because I wanted one as a backup, so that would be Rodrigo as a backup striker for Neymar. So if Neymar gets injured or something like that, which I don't think he will because I think he's injury-free, but if he's stamina's low, I can bring Rodrigo on for a game. And I've also got Eto at the moment as well, as long as he doesn't sell. So currently... Um, after this episode, I haven't recorded any more footage, so you're going to have to let me know who, who you want me to buy. Um, maybe, possibly, um, a, a right back um, would be a good position, maybe. Um, I know that Chelsea's midfield is insanely strong, so that's not really much of a problem. But anyway, we cut straight to the game against Birmingham. Neymar straight from kickoff. Um, they kick off. We get the ball straight away. He shoots and he scores 1-0 in the second minute against Birmingham. Now, this is on professional difficulty, um, but it's Birmingham. Chelsea versus Birmingham. So that's why it was so easy, um, because it's Birmingham. But anyway... Uh, Neymar straight from kickoff, like I said, just just a lovely finish there. Just smashes it past the keeper uh, for a 1-0 lead in the second minute. Um, but anyway, here it is, Neymar again, 38th minute there. Because he's got 5-star weak foot, I kind of choose between the two feet. I, I love left-footed shots. I don't know, left-footed footballers, just they're just so... I think they're good looking. Their uh, left footed football is good looking, in my personal um, opinion. But anyway, he goes around, he just stops, turns, shoots with the left foot, makes it 2 0 in the 39th minute. Um, so that's two goals in his debut for Neymar, um, which is absolutely insane. So Oscar here in the 45th minute goes ahead, shoots, and scores 3 0 in the 45th minute, which is absolutely amazing. And then we go into half time. And it, until the end of the game, it pretty much stays 3-0 because I was kind of playing a little bit defensive football. Wasn't really attacking too much. Didn't really want to humiliate Birmingham too much. But, um, yeah, I, I just kind of left it. So, 90th minute, it goes back until um, the the, the full-time whistle. Double always with a cheeky little tackle there. Could be his last tackle at Chelsea, um, which is kind of sad, actually, because I know how OP he is. But, anyway, uh, we do end up picking a win up there. 3-0 uh, win against Birmingham, which is pretty good. It's just standard, to be honest. Um, that's what you'd expect from Chelsea and and, um, and and Birmingham. But anyway, we're getting off for Courtois. And because I just got rid of Lloris, I was like, no, I'm not accepting any offers at all. Um, we're also getting an offer for Ashley Cole. 2.8 million from Real Madrid. His value is 3 million. He's unhappy as well. So I was like, okay, you can have him. He's 33. Uh, I've got way too many left backs anyway. So you can have him. Um, for 2.8 million, that's that's quite nice, a bit of money. So Courtois there is um, saying about Lloris's uh, spot, saying he'll make a great replacement. But what he doesn't realise is that he was the number one goalkeeper anyway, um, and he's he was never be a replacement. But I went ahead and I was checking for goalkeepers anyway, and I was thinking, hmm, and maybe there's a few. There's Mignolet, uh, Begovic uh, from 
uh, Stoke as well. But then I checked the Bundesliga and then I realised that Testagen or Testagen or however you pronounce it, he's very young, he's an insanely good keeper. And I know from uh, experience how good he is as well. So I wasn't really too fussed about scouting him. Um, I thought 10 million at first was quite a bit of money. If I can get him for a little bit more, maybe like 6, 6.5. I ended up going for 6, as you can see there. But 6 million for Testagen. He's 21. Um, I think he's overall 79 to 80, something like that. Um, something around that. He's very, very good. But anyway... In the upcoming episode, guys, we do end up having a game against West Brom. Uh, no, not West Brom. Is it West Brom? I can't remember. No, I think it's Norwich that we have a game up uh, coming up against in the next episode. So that's where the next episode will start. Um, we will have a look of, about how we do all of this kind of stuff. Um, we will jump in, see what they uh, reply about all of that stuff as well. But I was looking for a uh, centre-back because I know that they have Dante. And I know Dante is an amazing centre back okay but I realise he's 30 years old um, he's he's getting a bit old so I wasn't really too fussed in Dante I'm looking for the younger players maybe so I moved on to Hummels um, in Dortmund and they wanted a lot of damn money for Hummels um, he's 25 obviously he's like got kind of like a rake face there um, but he's yeah he's 25 he's worth 14 million but if you look up the top there where the chief executive comments uh, it says in, anywhere between 21 and 28 million for Hummels that's like four for a centre back that's quite a lot damn that's a lot damn but um, yeah I had to go in and put in the money anyway put in the offer and all of that stuff so we are coming to the end of this episode guys uh, if you have enjoyed please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe as well uh, if you want another one of these go ahead and let me know in the comment section below who I should buy all of that cool stuff follow me on Facebook, Twitter all of that cool stuff and then in the next episode we will see how all of this works so adios